So for question 13.9, uh, the compound has a half-life of 5.2 days and it decays following first order kinetics. What percent of the original sample remains after 20 days? So this was a, a challenging question in that you needed to use two different equations. Uh, the first information, they let us know the half-life. The second information, they let us know that's first order kinetics. Um, and then ultimately we have to find what concentration remains 20 days uh, after the reaction is started. So step one, I know the half-life, but I don't know anything else. So we want to find the rate constant for the reaction. So we know for the half-life for a first order reaction, T1 half equals 0.693 over K. We know the half-life is 5.2 days equals 0.693 over K. So I rearrange this equation, multiply both sides by K, and then divide by 5.2 days to find that the rate constant for this reaction is 0 0.133 uh, inverse days. Now that we know the rate law of the, or the rate constant for the reaction, we know that it's a first order reaction. So we want to find what is the concentration after 20 days. So we want to plug in <clears throat> to the first order integrated rate law for a first order reaction, which is the natural log of concentration at time t equals negative kt plus the natural log of concentration at the start of the reaction. I know my rate constant k. I know time is 20 days. Um, I do not know an initial concentration, and I'm looking for a final concentration. So just to make our life easy, let's just say the initial concentration is 1, because ultimately we're looking for a percentage uh, of how much of the sample remains, and so it's very easy to convert 1 um, into a percent, and thinking about it as 100, and it's also going to make our math a little bit easier in the second. So natural log of concentration equals my rate constant, negative 0.1333 uh, days to the inverse 1 times 20 days plus the natural log of my initial concentration, which we just said to make our lives easy, let's call that 1. The natural log of 1 is 0, and then I'm going to multiply these two together, 0.1333 times 20, uh, and days cancel out. So I'm left with the natural log of concentration equals negative 2.666 plus the natural log of 1, which is 0. So that makes my life even easier. Now I'm left with the natural log of concentration at time t equals negative 2.666. And so what I told you guys on Tuesday, you know, if we don't remember um, that process, because ultimately I'm looking for concentration, I have natural log of concentration. Well, the shortcut we need to remember is that E raised to the natural log of x equals x. So right now, the natural log of x is point is, is negative 2.666. So e raised to the negative 2.666, uh, that should give us x. So e raised to the negative 2.666 gives us a value of the concentration at time t of 0 0.0695. That's the concentration. We're looking for the percent. So if we want to think of this as 100%, I would just multiply that by 100 uh, to leave me with a percentage of approximately 7% um, of the sample remaining after 20 days. So what made this challenging is we had to do two different calculations involving two different equations. The first to find the rate constant and the next to use that rate constant to say, basically, after 20 days, how much of that material uh, would I have left? And the answer is 7%.